How's it going guys? As I promised, um, I am going to be showing you guys how to A. Root this bad boy uh, 2. Install S Voice on this guy just like we have on the North American and International variant of the Galaxy S3. Now there are so many different ways that you can uh, root this guy that take around 2 hours uh, or even more to, to just even root it. So what I've done is I've done, there's about 14, 15 ways to root this thing. And some ways even can take up to an excess of 6-7 hours. So I know that all you guys out there do not want to waste your time going and just wait, just trying to root it. And then in the end, if you're not even successful, you just wasted 7 hours completely. So what I've done is I've taken my own time, um, taken about 5 hours, find, found out the ultimate way to root this bad boy and install S Voice on and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that in this video. So before we start I just want to say if you can please hit that like button down there and leave a comment, subscribe, uh, do all that good stuff. I will be motivated to further develop and to help you guys out with all your other questions. So please do that for me and in return I'll provide the videos that you guys want. Um, thanks in advance, and, uh, well, here we go. So, um, the first major problem that you're going to face when you want to root this guy is that, uh, now I'll be using a different computer for doing different stuff, but just to root, actually, before we start, I want to show you here that we do not have, whoops, sorry, not, uh, Google. We do not have super user. Correct? There is no super user. And in my uh, hidden application, in my hidden applications, there is only these Chinese bloatware apps which have come on the device. I'll be deleting them once I root this device. So, we're going to go back. So, as you can see, no rooting whatsoever. So, now what we're going to do is, the first thing that you're going to do, I have to do it on this computer because I already installed the, um, the, the driver on that computer. So, first thing you're going to do is when you plug it in, you're going to get a message that says, uh, let me just pull it up here, bear with me. You're going you're gonna to get a message that says the following, oops, sorry. I'm just trying to find it here. It, it's gonna, it's gonna tell you that um, the your a device that you're trying to do was unable to fully install its drivers. Okay, and that that is probably the number number one hardest thing to resolve. And it's not even that hard from the way that I'm gonna be showing you guys. So sit back, um, you know, enjoy. It's gonna be a very straightforward process. So what we're gonna do is when you when you um. When you plug in your phone, you're going to wait a f two minutes, but make sure that on your device you have, uh, sorry, make sure you have under, do, 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 under developer options right here, you have USB debugging enabled. Please make sure that that's enabled prior to connecting this thing to your computer. Okay? So, that's that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go and open control panel. Okay? So we're in control panel here. So, and then what you're going to find is device manager. Uh, sorry. Well, when you open control panel, you may see something like this. And that's okay. What you want to do is you want to go up here and say small icons. Okay? Um, and what we're going to do here is device manager. We're just going to click it. It's going to pop up here. So, what we see here is you can see other devices, MTK65XX Android phone, and you see how it has a little, you know, uh, exclamation mark, which probably says that it was not um, fully, you know, installed. The driver wasn't fully installed. So, what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've provided you guys links. So this is the link to the driver. It's on my uh, fast card phone's um, Google account. So what we're going to do is we're just going to simply copy this. 
We're going to go into our browser. Just bear with me a sec. There we go. We're going to go up here. We're going to hit Control V. We're going to paste it. And we're going to see this here. All we're simply going to do is we're going to go up here to File. Okay? You're going to hit Download. Okay? When you hit Download, it's going to open a new tab for you. Then it's going to compress everything into a compressed zip file because as you see here, there are many, many files. Okay, so it's going ahead oops, and downloading that file. But what I've already done is I've already taken this file. Okay, so it's downloaded. Okay, but what I've already done is uh, I've already taken this file and unzipped it. So, just bear with me for a second while I go find that. I don't need, I don't need two of these. I've already gone ahead and unzipped it. These are the contents that were inside that. The USB driver, you see there? These are everything that was inside that. And I've placed it on, for simplicity, simplistic reasons, on my desktop. So, just, 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 just for, um... Simplicity, you know, we don't, we didn't need to do this. Oh, prior to me installing the drivers, I just want to show you. If you end up doing this, if you end up, this is the root tool. This is the second thing we're going to do, but I'm just going to show you what happens when we want to do it. So, this is my tool. So, what I'm going to do is I want to root the device. So, I'm going to hit 1. So, I'm going to hit 1, and I'm going to hit enter. It's going to say it started successfully. And it's just going to wait here forever. It's just going to wait here forever. That means if you end up getting this message, you will need to install the drivers. So, now what we need to do, we can minimize this. We can open this guy back up. So, remember the drivers we just downloaded from my Google Docs? Yeah, and what you need to do is you need to extract it into a folder, okay? So, once you download that, that file that we downloaded here... You're going to take this file, and you're going to extract it into a folder anywhere you want, as long as you know where it is. As long as all the content is inside that one folder. So, we're going to go up here. We're going to right-click. We're going to say, Update Driver Software. Okay, we're going to get this screen. We're going to say, Browse My Computer for Driver Software. We're going to go in here, and remember how I said I left it on my desktop? We're going to pull up down here, USB drivers, okay? We're going to click that. We're not going to click the individual thing. We're just going to click the main folder. Every Everything else down here is, is the other contents inside that folder that we downloaded down there. So we're just going to click the folder itself and hit OK. Remember, nothing else. You just want to have the extracted content. Okay, and you want to have include subfolders checked off. Okay, so then you want to hit next, and then it's going to say installing. Then you're going to be prompted by this thing Would you like to install? Yes, I would. Then it's going to go ahead and take about 30 seconds to install the driver. So we'll, well, I'll just wait here um, while the driver is going ahead and installing. Are you guys excited to uh, get a little bit of S voice going on on your phone? Yeah, I've I got to tell you, man. It I uh, got about um, a hundred inbox messages saying, "Please show me how to root and please show me how to put S voice on it." So uh, the numbers were quite high, <laughs> to say the least. So um, I'm just, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully you guys. We're already at nine minutes, but hopefully you guys. Uh, stick around for the whole video and see how to do oh there we go uh so it says we have successfully updated our driver and that's perfect okay so what we're going to do is hit close okay now as you can see here there is no longer that exclamation mark thing for us to find right all we have is android phone now okay that means we're done here okay now we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit the root tool. We're going to hit run me again. And then we're going to hit 1. 
and hit enter. Okay, now you see how we got a lot further. Now it says, look at your device. Alright, so I'm just going to pull the device into the frame here. Here's the device. Okay, so as soon as you click that home button, what you're going to see is you're going to see the screen. All you need to do, you don't need to fill any anything out up here. All you need to do is simply click restore my data. Okay, and then this is going to go ahead. It says successful. Going to reboot your device. Now, what that is, is that you yourself have to reboot your device. So, it's going to turn off, but it will not turn back on. Do not pull this cable out. What you need to do, if you pull this cable out right now, you might end up losing your whole um, OS, and we don't want that. So, what you're going to do is you're going to just simply, with keeping the cable in, simply hit the power button. There we go. We are turning it on manually ourselves because it needs to finish flashing the final bit of firmware onto it. Now, it has successfully transferred everything onto it. Everything is now on our device. Maybe I did not turn it on manually. Let me try one more time here. There we go. It, this phone doesn't give me a vibration like my North American edition, so it's uh, it's always a bit tough knowing what you're doing here. So, what we're going to see here is Android is upgrading in a second. Okay, so now we're going to wait for the device to go through, you know, finding the network, all that junk. I'll just wait another. Okay, it's on 2G now. And I'll, in a second, find the 3G network. Hopefully. Anyways, we're going to go here while it's looking. We're going to go through it. Oh, would you look at here? We got super user going on in the house. Bang. Super user in the building. So there you go, that's rooted. This phone is now a rooted phone. And to prove that, let's go into the Play Store with my G connection for some reason. Waiting on that to turn to 3G. Maybe it's because I have so many computers. I got one down there, one old piece of shit that I'm using right now, and my main uh, hacking and modding computer over there. So, um, oh, I don't like this keyboard. Sorry. This is the Chinese keyboard. Say English. Okay. So we're going to say root. Oops. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm doing it through a camera. It's brutal. Uh, no. Okay. Search. And there we go. We switched it back to 3G. So we're going to see, uh, whatever. We'll say root checker. Whatever. Let's see. Okay. We're installing. Successfully installed. Yes. Sure. Then it's going to say we are given a box and we can say grant it there we go congratulations we have root access so that's perfect we have root going on in this house so give me about uh... well actually i'll just pause the video i'm just going to switch computers and show you guys how to um, install s voice and now s voice installation is very very simple and straightforward uh... so i'll just pause it and yeah you guys won't see the delay Okay, so we're back here. Um, so now I just uh, I simply unplug this from my other computer, and I'm going to uh, let me just 
close this right here and plug it into just plug it into my computer here. Okay. So if you guys want, I mean you don't have to, but if you want, all you need to do is here, go here, go down, click developer options, and simply uncheck USB debugging. Simple uh, as that. Okay, and now what you want to do is just for this, you want to go into your boom, 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 security, okay, and just simply make sure that unknown sources are allowed to be installed onto this phone, okay? Simple as that. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to connect it to we're going to connect it as a USB device. So turn on USB storage. We're going to say, OK. It's connecting now. And soon. All right. I was prompted to open files. All right. We're just going to click open files very briefly. and. Just gonna simply, all right. We're just gonna leave this here, so you can see all the files and folders that are already installed onto your phone. So what we're gonna do is what we need is this file right here, the S Voice signed. Now, like I showed you, bear with me a second. Like I showed you, we everything is on my Google Docs. So what you need to do, the drivers, like I showed you, you go into my Google Docs, download that. Rooting tool, same thing. I already had it. I didn't actually show you here. Let me just click Control. And we're going to go to my Google Docs account. And all it's going to say is download. And you're simply just going to click download. And again, you're going to have to extract this into its specific folder. So make sure you download it. It's going to give you, it's going to give you the download as a zip file. What you want to do with that zip, you want to extract it all into a folder. I'm sure everyone knows how to extract. If you don't know how to extract, YouTube extracting. I'm sure you can find something. <laughs> all right, so that's that. Now the final thing, and probably what you guys most want, is the S-Voice. So here, it's only a single file, the S-Voice. So you're going to click, go to my, or here, just, let me just copy this. Gonna go down. And I'm gonna put it here. So we're just gonna go. We're gonna click download right there. So this is my file. I can do everything I want with it. But you guys will just want to download it. Okay? Simple as that. So we're gonna exit out of this. We're gonna go here. Now, once we download that file, it's only going to be a file, so you don't need to extract. All you need to do is take this file, you're going to copy it. Alright, look, copy. Okay, go back to your removable F, which is your phone. And you're going to simply paste. you've pasted it. Okay, and I have a software just for my uh, modding and stuff like that where I develop apps. Uh, that's why it's opening it in BlueStacks. You guys won't probably see it in BlueStacks. It'll probably be a different icon, but that doesn't matter at all. So, yeah, don't even worry about that. Okay, now what you're going to do is, if you want, you can simply unplug your device. If you guys want. Or you can keep it plugged in. It doesn't matter, okay? So, we're going to swipe... We're going to let it prepare the SD. We're going to bang, search, set your settings. We're going to go all the way up, and then we're going to find storage. Click storage. Okay, we see all our good stuff here. We have 16 gigs plus 4 gigs. All right, perfect. What we're going to go is what we're really after is APK installer. Oh, there you have it. S-Voice signed APK. All this other stuff, this is from my... 
rooting and uh, not necessarily no, not rooting. This is from my own customizing and, and and app developing. So you guys won't see these things. Term dot apk and uh, and this the quick mobile. Uh, so what all you want is you want to just click that. It's going to say, do you want to install? Blah blah blah. blah. It's going to show you all the rights that this app needs itself. So you're going to simply hit install. It's going to take about five to ten seconds. And we've done installing. Oh, okay. So we can say done, or we can say directly open. So we're back on our regular home screen, you know, just the way we usually have it. Okay. And bang, bang, bang. There it is. S voice. So we're going to click it just to show you that it works. So we're going to get this disclaimer. You guys will say confirm. Terms of use. Okay. We're going to say next, or you can say skip. Next. Next. Perfect. There we go. Okay. So hopefully my Wi Fi signal is strong enough. This is um, my, you know, working area and the Wi Fi on mobile phones are not too great because I have about four stories underneath me. So <laughs> so here we go. Um what are we gonna ask? Uh let's see. How old is Megan Fox? There you have it. Okay. Um Sorry, I'm doing this through a... Okay, sorry about that, guys. I had to reconnect it to my internet. Um, uh, that's, yeah, if you don't have internet connection, this thing will freeze up on you. So um, so we can ask it... Uh, let's see. How old is Angelina Jolie? 37 years, 7 months, 12 days. Okay, and if you guys want it to talk and it's not talking back to you, what you need to do is you need to go settings. You need to come down here. You need to go to language and inputs. You need to go all the way down. You need to go to text to speech output. You need to click. You'll see this probably. If you don't, you're going to say, you're going to have to download one, okay? So you can say, le listen. This is an example of speech synthesis in English with Pico. If you don't see it, it's not a big problem. All you do, go to go to Google, uh, go to the Play Store, just type in, oops, hang on, T T S text to speech, and you can download any one that you want. And once you've done that, all you have to go do is enable it in the in the previous area that we were in. Okay, so sorry, back to ask voice now. Uh, let's see. What's the weather like in Miami? Here is the weather for Miami, Florida. All right, as you can see, it's working perfectly. Um, let's see, we can ask it one more question. We since I'm Canadian, let's ask it. What's the weather like in Toronto? And I think this this lag is because, you know, my connection is pretty bad right now. Like it's it's probably like five percent, four percent on this phone. Um as you can see, it recognizes it. It's just looking for the answer. And I think, the, here, let's go back and we'll ask it again. Hang on. I can't, sorry, let me go back. Let me actually see if I can put this on. Let me close the app and put this. Um, 3G. There you go. Okay. Ugh, not the internet. Alright, back. 
What's the weather like in Toronto? Hopefully we get an answer this time. Maybe it just doesn't work for Canadian cities. I have no clue. I couldn't tell you. So it does not seem to be functioning properly for this question. So we'll put it out of its misery. And we'll ask it... Uh, And yeah, sometimes it's unresponsive, so I guess what you have to do at that point is uh, just shut it down and reopen it. Uh, when was the Avengers made? Yeah, I think, hang on, if I was to connect it back to my... Wi-Fi and hold up a bit. I'm sure I'll get a better result to round it up for you guys. There you go. Oh, sorry, I backed out. <laughs> There's your answer. Yeah, so the connection is, is kind of slowing it down right now, but if I'm sure if you have a better connection, you won't have a problem. So there you have it, guys. Um, you have... Your root, you have your S voice on the Samsung Galaxy S3 from HDC. So, oops, let me just try and one-handedly. I did not put my uh, camera on a, on a stand just due to the fact that uh, I have I had to move it around for you guys. You know. Um, So, as you can see here, it is indeed the same one as last time, except this one performs slightly better and has the Samsung logo on top and is running Android 4.1.9, which doesn't even exist. As you can see there. <laughs> and we have our model number. Alright, well, if you guys enjoyed this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, and subscribe to my channel. Share it to all your friends. Um, and please post comments down below as to what the next uh, phone you want me to review is. I've had... Oops, sorry. I've had one person ask me to, to do a... Um, HDC uh, Note 2, I believe it was. I've had two people ask me to do this one, so that's why I went ahead and bought this one to show you guys with the Samsung logo on it. And uh, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed it, please, uh, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate your time, and uh, see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.